Alright, what's up games on Global? This is Muzzafuzza, and I'm gonna do a series on uh, support sniping and playing the role of a sniper in uh, objective games and uh, ground war. Ground war mostly because that's that's usually what I tend to play and uh, I think that's what most snipers tend to play, especially if they're going for montage clips and things like that. But um, there's gonna be three or four tips in every little video that I do for you guys that are just gonna be my main focus to get out there. and. Um, this video's gameplay isn't that great, but uh, one of the main reasons is because uh, the focus of this video is uh, talking about warming up, and uh, you know, my idea of warming up is, uh, this was this was one of the first games I played this day, and I really wasn't warmed up. As you, as you can see, uh, I don't know about right now, but maybe later in the video, I missed some jump shots. I missed some easy hard scopes. Uh, man, I quick scoped that kid in the last stand, and he just dominates me with his USP, which sucks. But um, I'm using the Akimbo Deagles, and I, I recommend if you're, uh, it doesn't really matter if you're going for montage clips, because when you're going for montage clips, your, I mean, your KD doesn't matter, so, but um, I'd say if you're, if you're trying to support your team, and you're trying to uh, go for the win, and go for the kill-death ratio, and, and all that good stuff, the uh, best thing for try-hard sniping is to have a pistol as your secondary, whether that's Akimbo, or, you know, FMJ, or Silencer, if you want, uh, whatever you feel comfortable with. I like Akimbo Deagles just because they tear kids up with only two shots, and uh, it's really nice, especially with steady aim. Um, the other thing I want to talk about today is mobility. Uh, your role as a sniper in this game, um, your mobility is at 100%. You can run just as fast as anyone else. Uh, um, same speed as an SMG, same speed as, uh, uh, like, if you have your secondary out. And uh, contrary to popular belief, uh, switching to your secondary doesn't make you run any faster, no matter what you have. You always run at the speed of your primary weapon, um, no matter what. So, uh, as a sniper, you need to remain mobile. And what I'm doing right here, I'm using avoidance tactics. Uh, in order to increase your avoidance, I'd say strafe as much as possible. Uh, makes you a hard target, shows you where your enemies are. If they, give a, if they get a shot at you, uh, you can usually go prone and uh, uh, avoid your death. And I think I almost get killed right here, but luckily, boom. Triple Harrier, and it saves my ass. And uh, when you're one away from a chopper gunner, I mean, your you, air support it makes takes priority because uh, air support is king in this game. Um, and it just I don't know it just it just completely gets you guys to the win because of the mass amount of kills that it gets. And this gameplay isn't great because I I still get a lot of weapon kills, but um, air support kind of kind of always tends to lead pe lead people through to good kill death ratios. And uh, pick that guy off with my secondary right there. And I'd say if, if you want to get uh, long range assault rifle kills, switch your secondary out for, for a nice assault rifle that you find. And uh, it'll make it easier to get non-sniper shots because I could have hard scoped that guy, but I mean, I already had the scar out, so I thought, why not? Um, another role as a sniper is to uh, maintain awareness. Uh, you need to have more awareness than anyone else because you only have one bullet at a time to put into someone. And um, knowing, knowing what's around you, what's behind you, uh, where your enemies are spawning, all that. You need to know where they're spawning. You need to know uh, what quadrant of the map uh, these guys are coming from. And that, that'll, that'll be a big part of uh, your success as a sniper. And I don't think I get uh, very many more kills after this. I think I get three or four more, and I, I die a couple times. But I, I'm the main reason that my team wins this uh, on top of the top of the list and everything. And I, I know I could have done a lot better, but the point of this is to show um, you need to keep your fingers moving. Uh, I think I think it's coming up right here where see that was an awareness fail. He didn't have Ninja Pro on, which means I could have sound hoard him. I should have had my Turtle Beaches up, and I should have heard him behind me. I could have had a better score. Uh, if you guys don't have a headset, I recommend you do if you ever want to get into competitive gaming or um, you know YouTube YouTubing. Also, uh, if you want to be a successful player at this game, you need to be at the top of your game. Bam! I don't know what the fuck that was. He must have crouched or something right when I shot, but. Managed to pick him up with the headshot there, and uh, these hard scopes are taking so long just because I was not warmed up. My hands were shaking, couldn't have my reflexes, couldn't get my rhythm right. Uh, one of the main things you need when you're a sniper in this game is rhythm, and by rhythm I don't mean hip hop beats. I mean knowing the rhythm of your rifle. You need to know when it's proper time to rescope. So you need to know the exact time that it takes to load the next bolt into your rifle. Uh, if you're using a 50 cal or if you're using an M21 or a Wa 2000 or a wazoo as most people call it. Uh, I like to call it the wazoo. But you need to know the rhythm of your bolt action if you're using a if you're using the intervention, which is in my opinion is my favorite sniper rifle of all time. Uh, 
it's it's really nice and uh, people think the thermal is cheap but I, I don't use it that often but I, I was using it for this I don't know why um, made it easier to pick kids off in the in the dark surroundings right here but this kid has no awareness and I almost fail right there as you see I couldn't get my aim on him and that's because my my hands weren't warmed up I couldn't I couldn't for some reason get the joysticks on this kid and I'm usually much better sniper than this uh, after I get playing for a couple hours but uh, this was this was like my second game or my third game I think that I played and for some reason I was just off and watch this I think I switched my rifle right here and I try to get some jump shot on some kids and I completely have an awareness fail I should have known that they were coming to the left I shouldn't have stayed hard scope for so long I thought it would be a good idea to try to get a jump shot on this kid look over here miss an embarrassing hard scope right there I go back to look for these guys and I think I get picked off from the left right here watch this That's what happens when you stay hard scope for too long. You completely lose awareness of your surroundings. I should have known that guy, that guy was coming to the left. Um, that's why I recommend. Uh, I don't. I don't know if any of you guys watch Rings of Redemption. He says hard scoping is superior, which it is. It's easier to get kills hard scoping. So I mean, why not? But um, you need to unscope as soon as you get your kill, and you need to always be aware of what's going on around you. Uh, it'll make your kill to death ratio better. It'll make you a more supportive sniper for your team and overall better player if you always know what's going on within within a good radius around yourself but um if you like these kinds of commentaries and you like uh you know my ideals and my philosophies about sniping come check out my channel i'm a new sponsor player by games on global and i'm going to try to put these out uh every couple of weeks um yeah and let me know what else you guys want me to teach you as far as sniping goes i'll teach you whatever you want uh thanks gzg for putting this up and i will see you guys in a couple of weeks Bye-bye.